What's up guys, it's Zane here and welcome to Money Making Guide Bandos God Wars Dungeon. Now a lot of you guys have actually suggested that I make a God Wars Dungeon Guide or you know for Bandos or for Armadale. Now Zamorak and Saradomen aren't that great so instead of doing those I might do those at the later date but I'm going to prioritize on Bandos and Armadale. So in this episode we're actually talking about Bandos God Wars Dungeon. Now there are a couple requirements and a couple items that you need, but they aren't premium, they aren't donator, you can go as a regular player. You could probably go there by the end of your first day playing, so let's get started. So why Bandos? It's not super crowded, most people actually go to Armadillo or other bosses that are a little easier. Um, but in fact it is pretty easy and it's pretty safe you won't die there is a very high chance of getting drops and it allows you to go for long runs you're able to kill many many bandos god um, bosses before you actually have to leave which is pretty nice now when I say very high chance of drops I mean you're gonna get like one big drop an hour so the bandos loot includes bandos gear including bandos boots Tassets and chest plate, God Sword shards one, two, and three, and the T and G, which is kind of like the gilded leather armors. It also has a small chance, at least General Grandor does, of dropping the Elite Clue Scroll. And once you get the casket from the Elite Clue Scroll, that comes out to around one bill to one point two bill in profit. So it's really, really good. So the requirements in getting there. So the first requirement is 70 strength. You need 70 strength just to use the hammer to get into the door to kill the minions. You need to have at least 50, 43 prayer and 80 plus combat stats if you are going there. Now I highly suggest that you're maxed out, you know, 99 attack strength, but if you're going with a couple friends and you're a new player, you can go there with 80 combat stats. But I mean, this is a RuneScape private server. You should be able to get the 99s. Getting there. So how do you get to Bandos? You go to your mage book, otherwise known as your tab, uh, your, your teleport tab, your mage tab. You go to monster teleport and you find the big door. We're actually going to be showing you that in a video right now. So as you can see, we start, we go to monsters, God Wars dungeon. Then you want to flip around your camera and you'll see there's a little God Wars dungeon entrance. Then you're going to want to go northwest up a little bit and you'll find this door. Don't forget your hammer. Slam the hammer and you'll get there. So gear setups, we're going to be talking about a couple different gear setups, melee, melee, and mage, range isn't that good, and we're going to be talking about the different tiers of gear that you can use. So the first one, optimal, we're going to be talking about probably one of the best sets you can actually use, and that's Torva with the Slayer Helmet. So you're going to get, want, you're going to, want to get a Divine, Whip of Souls, Brawling Gloves, all that kind of good stuff. You can get a Berserker Ring, but it's not needed. Now, if you're a little, you can't get that Torva. You can easily get Bandos. And remember, everything here is interchangeable, guys. So let's say you have a Souls Whip, but you don't have Torva, you can get Bandos. It's all interchangeable. I'm just showing you the best tiers for Bandos. Now, these are the Metacore sets. If you are going solo, I highly suggest using Torags, but if you're going with a friend, use Void, as Void has a very high damage output except low defense, and so that's why you want a friend so that you both take equal damage and not as much as if you were going solo. Now, the Void isn't really interchangeable. You need to have a full set, but of course you can use a Dragon Defender if you want, or you know a Custom Whip, Dragon Scimitar, whatever. It doesn't really matter, just to get that damage out. Now... If you don't want to do any of these, then you could do Mage. And the big thing on Mage is allowing you to go for long, long periods of time. And what I mean by this is you're using Blood Barrage, and Blood Barrage allows yourself to heal yourself. So there's three different types of armors you can use. You just saw Third Age Druidic, you can use Virtus, and finally you can use Arums. Now, Bandos is a little popular, but not super popular, like I said. So unless you have Virtus or Third Age Druidic, I don't suggest doing the Mage um, place, the Mage type, because it's kind of slow when getting the kills. Prayers. Requirements for, for prayer is getting 43 prayer. You don't need curses. Curses actually don't really help that much, except they give you a little bit longer trips. Um, you know, protect item, berserker, all that kind of good stuff. Now, however, if you're using mage, you need to use augury. You must have augury. I highly suggest that because you're going to be getting a lot more hits. 
Now you may have noticed in the gear setups that I actually have been using a Slayer Helm, and that's because when I go to Bandos, I actually get a Slayer task for General Grondor. This is highly suggested as having the Slayer Helm will actually give you a major damage buff. I'm not sure how much it is. I believe it's around 15%, but it's definitely a big difference. Now, as you can see here, we just got the kill count. If you want to know how to get kill count, guys, simply go and kill the goblins. Don't kill anything else but the goblins. Um because everything else just takes way too long to actually kill but the goblins are about a one hit kill now when you go into bandos you just want to kill the first bandos boss as quickly as possible then you want to go for the mage minion as that one hits the most uh, out of all the minions then the range one and then finally the melee one protecting melee this whole time and as you can see here we're just about to kill the bandos boss and we actually get a loot bandos tassets now you might be wondering how much you get these bandos tassets i get them around i'd say one drop an hour now of course you might get dry streaks so if you go through this video and you're like man ain't i didn't get any drops what's up with that well guys don't worry that's simply because you just have a dry streak i've had dry streaks too and it's not that big of a deal but without further ado guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you can tap that like button and yeah peace out